Hi, my name is Tom Hayes. I've been living with HIV for six years now. Um, I got involved in this campaign because there's been a real lack of public education around HIV for the last 30 years since the last big campaign and I think it's time that we, we started again really. And what do you think needs to be done? What needs to be done? the public needs to be educated? Well I think it just needs to be a ground up complete refresher of public knowledge about HIV. It's changed so much in the last 30 years. From 1970 to today there hasn't been a big campaign but you know, testing is free and simple. You can do it at home, you can do it in clinics, you can do it in community centres, you can buy tests and foods. Uh, but you know, the treatment's changed. I'm on one pill once a day, which is common for most people, which means I can live as long as anybody else. It means um, I can't really, I've got such a tiny risk of passing on the virus to anyone else, it's basically non existent. Uh, people with HIV can start families, they can do any job they want these days. So, so much has changed in 30 years. The public perception hasn't really caught up. And so, what, what, what is the public perception? Is, is it what it was like 30 years ago when that government, the government ran the first campaign? I think the perception has got a lot better in the last 30 years, but there's still a long way to go. Um, we did a survey in Manchester, and one in five people thought we could get HIV kissing, which is completely untrue. And um, two out of five people didn't know where they could get tested in the city. Um, but just wider, generally, there's still a lot of stigma towards HIV. Um, you know, when accessing uh, welfare, when, when healthcare settings, um, and in the workplace, I think it's just we need to educate the general public and hopefully life will get better for people living with HIV. And what advice would you give to someone that thinks that they have got HIV? I would say go get tested about shallow doubt. It is a big, daunting thing to do, but once you've done it, it's a huge weight off your shoulder and it's so simple. Most of them these days are just a finger prick and you get a result in a couple of minutes. And you know, there's no bad result. <laughs> if you come back negative, that's a good result because you can keep yourself negative um, with prevention methods. If it's positive, that's a good result because you can, you now know your status and you go to life-saving treatments, you know, and live a long, healthy life. You only need bad results if not knowing.